What lies beneath our feet, deep inside the Earth's core? The very heart of our planet, a realm so alien and extreme, it bears more resemblance to the sun than the solid ground we walk upon. It's a place of mystery and intrigue, largely unvisited and unexplored. Our planet's core is a rotating sphere, the engine that drives Earth's magnetic field, and it plays a critical role in the existence of life as we know it. But what keeps this colossal engine running? What fuels it? Theories abound, each more fascinating than the last. Some scientists propose that it's the heat from radioactive decay that keeps the core churning, while others suggest that the residual heat from the planet's formation billions of years ago might still be at play. Yet there are those who believe that the gravitational pull from the moon and sun could be exerting tidal forces that contribute to the core's rotation. The Earth's core is not just a hot ball of molten metal, it's a complex and dynamic system, a dance of heat, pressure, and gravity that we're only just beginning to understand. It's a mystery that has been at the heart of geology and planetary science for centuries. Today, we delve into the heart of our planet, exploring the scientific theories behind what fuels Earth's core and why it rotates. Deep beneath the Earth's crust lies a hot, molten core. Imagine a sphere of iron and nickel, heated to temperatures that dwarf the surface of the Sun. This is the Earth's core, a place of immense heat and pressure, hidden beneath miles of solid rock. The Earth's core is divided into two distinct regions, the outer core and the inner core. Let's take a closer look. The outer core, a sea of molten iron and nickel, stretches from about 400 miles beneath the surface to about 1700 miles deep. The heat within this outer core is so intense that it keeps the iron and nickel in a fluid state, despite the enormous pressures. This vast, molten ocean generates the Earth's magnetic field, a protective shield that guards us from harmful solar radiation. Now, journey deeper still, to the very heart of our planet, the inner core. Unlike the fluid outer core, the inner core is a solid ball of superheated iron and nickel. It spans approximately 800 miles in diameter, roughly the distance from New York to Chicago. Despite being at the center of the Earth, the inner core is not the hottest part of our planet. That honor goes to the boundary lying between the inner and outer core. The Earth's core is a blistering world of iron and nickel, with temperatures exceeding 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the surface of the Sun. And the pressure? It's over 3 million times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. But the core isn't just a seething ball of heat and metal. It's a dynamic, ever-changing place. The flow of iron and nickel within the outer core creates complex patterns of movement, much like the weather patterns we see in our atmosphere. Yet this is not a static, dormant place. The core is constantly in motion, rotating beneath our feet. Our journey to the Earth's core reveals a place of extreme conditions, a place that is vital for life on the surface, and a place that is still full of mysteries waiting to be discovered. So what keeps this fiery furnace burning? In the depths of our planet, beneath miles of rock and soil, lies a churning cauldron of heat and pressure. But what is the fuel that keeps this subterranean furnace ablaze? The answer lies in a blend of natural processes that have been ongoing for billions of years. Let's take a dive into the scientific theories that aim to explain what fuels Earth's core. The first thing that comes to mind is the residual heat from Earth's formation. Think of it as the leftover warmth from the planet's birth some four and a half billion years ago. When Earth formed from the dust and gas of the early solar system, the process released an immense amount of heat. A significant portion of this heat remains trapped within the Earth's core contributing to its fiery state. But the residual heat alone wouldn't keep the core burning for billions of years. So, where does the rest of the heat come from? Welcome to the fascinating world of radioactive decay. Deep within the Earth's core, heavy elements like uranium and thorium are breaking down. This process, known as radioactive decay, releases a steady stream of energy in the form of heat. Now imagine billions of these tiny nuclear reactors all working simultaneously, all contributing to the heat in the Earth's core. This is no small amount of energy we're talking about. The heat generated by the decay of uranium and thorium alone is estimated to be comparable to the heat produced by the sun. But how does all this heat affect the core? Well, it doesn't just sit there. The heat causes the molten iron in the Earth's core to move in a constant swirling motion. This movement generates the Earth's magnetic field, a protective barrier that shields us from harmful solar radiation. 
These processes, residual heat and radioactive decay, work in tandem to fuel the Earth's core. They generate immense heat, creating a dynamic, swirling mass of molten metal. These processes generate immense heat, creating a dynamic, swirling mass of molten metal. But why does the Earth's core spin? A question that has intrigued scientists and geology enthusiasts for ages. Well, let's dive into some theories and unravel this mystery. The initial rotation of our Earth and thus its core can be traced back billions of years to the birth of our solar system. Picture a massive spinning cloud of dust and gas, a cosmic whirlpool if you will. This swirling maelstrom is known as a protoplanetary disk, the cradle from which planets, including Earth, are born. As this nebulous cloud collapses under its own gravity, it begins to spin faster. This is due to a fundamental principle of physics called the conservation of angular momentum. If you've ever spun around in an office chair and pulled your legs in, you've experienced this principle firsthand. You spin faster, right? That's because your mass is closer to the axis of rotation. The same principle applies to our Earth. So, as the dust and gas collapsed to form the Earth, the planet started to spin. We can think of it as a figure skater spinning with outstretched arms. The moment she pulls her arms closer to her body, she begins to spin faster. Similarly, as the materials that form the Earth came closer together, the spinning speed increased. And thus, the rotation of the Earth and its core was set in motion. Now this rotation isn't just a cosmic ballet performance, it's a vital part of our planet's functionality. The spinning core, primarily made of iron, generates our planet's magnetic field, a protective shield that deflects harmful solar radiation. It also drives the movement of tectonic plates, shaping the very surface of the Earth. So the spinning core isn't just an astronomical phenomenon, it's a life-sustaining one. Without it, our planet wouldn't be the same. Quite literally, life as we know it hinges on this delicate cosmic dance. The rotation of the core, in turn, impacts everything from our planet's magnetic field to the movement of tectonic plates. And that, my friends, is the beauty of our spinning Earth. Our journey into the heart of the Earth has taken us through intense heat and immense pressure. We've delved into the mysteries surrounding the Earth's core, unearthing the secrets that lie thousands of miles beneath our feet. We've discovered that the core, despite being in the heart of our planet, is not a dormant entity. It is a dynamic, molten world, fueled by a combination of residual heat from the planet's formation, heat produced through radioactive decay, and latent heat released as the inner core solidifies. This heat creates convection currents that drive the movement of the core and, by extension, the rotation of our Earth. We've also learned that the core's rotation isn't just a simple spin. It's a complex dance, influenced by factors such as the Moon's gravitational pull and the Earth's own oblate shape. This rotation not only gives us our 24-hour day, but also generates the Earth's magnetic field, a protective shield that keeps us safe from harmful solar radiation. In our quest, we've realized that the Earth's core is more than just a hot spinning ball of iron and nickel. It's an integral part of our planet's life support system, powering everything from our daily sunrise to the very air we breathe. So next time you walk on solid ground, remember the dynamic molten world that spins beneath your feet.